How to set up and safely operate a generator. Electricity is a part of almost every aspect of our life, yet it's often taken for granted. That is, until we lose it during severe weather or a disaster. In an emergency, generators can be extremely useful, but they can also be very hazardous if not set up and operated safely. Carbon monoxide poisoning, electrocution, and fire are the most common dangers. However, there are simple steps you can take to avoid these hazards. Before the power outage, determine what appliances you can safely run off the size of generator you have purchased. It is important to take the time to read the owner's manual so you understand how to safely set up, start, use, and maintain your generator. Install battery operated carbon monoxide detectors in your home. If carbon monoxide gas from the generator enters your home and poses a health risk, the alarm will sound to warn you. Test the battery monthly and replace it every year. Keep a flashlight nearby in case you need to start the generator in the dark. Have the recommended heavy duty outdoor extension cord stored nearby and keep an ABC dry chemical fire extinguisher close at hand in the event of a fire. Make sure your generator is fueled and that you have an adequate supply of gasoline on hand. Adding a gasoline stabilizer will help keep the fuel from deteriorating during storage. Your owner's manual will tell you how many hours your generator can operate on one tank of gas. It's a good practice to have enough gasoline to run your generator for at least 72 hours. To prevent carbon monoxide poisoning, move your generator to a location outside your home. Never operate your generator inside your home or garage. When used in a confined space, a generator can produce high levels of deadly carbon monoxide gas within minutes. Because this gas has no odor, taste, or color, you and your family can be overcome by the fumes without even knowing that you're in danger. Position the generator so the exhaust vent points away from your home windows and doors. To prevent a fire, it is also important that it is at least three feet from anything that is combustible. To minimize the risk of shock or electrocution, it's recommended that your generator is protected from direct exposure to rain and snow, preferably under a canopy, open shed, or carport. Fueling your generator. Whenever you are fueling your generator, follow these steps so that you don't put yourself in danger of being burned or causing a fire. Store your gasoline in an approved gas container. This container has a specially designed spout that allows you to fill the gas tank according to the manufacturer's specifications. A space of an inch to an inch and a half from the top is needed so the gas can expand as your generator heats up during operation. Be sure to wipe up any gas that might have spilled during the fueling and always shut down the generator and let it cool down before refueling. Spilling gas onto a hot generator can cause the gas to ignite. Starting the generator. Different brands of generators might have slightly different starting procedures. Be sure and read your manual thoroughly before attempting to start your generator. If you have an electronic ignition or electric start, make sure your eco throttle is in the off position. The fuel valve is on. Turn the key to start the engine. As the engine comes up to speed, turn the eco throttle on. If you have a manual ignition, turn the ignition switch to the on position. Adjust the choke to full choke. Pull to start. And once the engine starts, back the choke off. Connecting the generator. Run the cord to the generator through a window or door from your home. Adding a power strip at the end will allow you to plug in several items at once. Once your generator is running, you can connect appliances to it using heavy-duty 10 to 12 gauge grounded 
three-pronged extension cords that are specifically designed for outdoor use. Be sure the wattage rating for each cord exceeds the total wattage of all of the appliances connected to it. Never try to power the house wiring by plugging the generator into a wall outlet, a practice known as backfeeding. This is extremely dangerous. It presents an electrocution risk to utility workers and neighbors served by the same utility transformer. It also bypasses some of the built-in household circuit protection devices. We recommend that you watch our other streaming videos that provide more detailed information on each of the topics we covered in this general setup and operation piece.